Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some fish and canes. Um, so, I'm not sure what um, I'm going to try and catch today. I'm probably going to be fishing in um, the Bahamas in the ocean sea. But, and, and showing you guys um, hooking a bull shark and stuff. And reeling in a bull shark. So, um, here you go. And we're going in the open sea and we're gonna be using some we're gonna be using some basic mullet as the bait. So uh, let's go. We've also got a new uh, person on deck, he's called Pete. Hello there boys. Um yeah, what are we trying to fish for today? Well we're gonna be trying to fish for a bull shark and that was a really bad cast, wasn't it? Yeah it was. But uh, you can go again if you want. So this is the mullet on the um Right, we've got on the hook, there's a grouper, amberjack, and fish down there, and the weeds. And then we've got the shipwreck that's used. So, um, yeah. I actually might cast that again, I wasn't too happy with that. I normally get about 7 feet, so yeah, okay, that's 7 for sure. Okay, 73 feet. And this is again near the wreck, big blue marlin, but I'm not exactly using the right bait for them. And also, if you guys are thinking about catching one, if you use the bait, I'll show you in a second after I get a bull shark, if they come. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, so I'll talk to you guys about that in a second. I know I'm using a mullet, which is the wrong little for a um, blue marlin. I'll show you. What the mean? That's a big mackerel. That's a big mackerel. Um, I don't know where the bull shark are. Oh, let's keep reeling in though. I haven't seen them yet. I think we'll get it to the surface a bit more. Considering it's eight feet below. Oh crap, what was that? Yes, okay, okay, okay. We could be on here, boys. We could be on. So here it comes. And I'm gonna eat it. And then we just got inside his gut. And that, ladies and gents, is if he ever bites the bait. What the hell? Can he please? Okay, so just like that, ladies and gents, is how you hook a bull shark. And we're on. My biggest bull shark is 500 pounds. Oh yeah, I don't think this one's 500 pounds. I reckon it's about maybe 300, 350 maybe around there somewhere. So it's just under my boat now, and I'm gonna get it up, and that's it. Okay. And then, oh jeez, 448 pounds. I said 320. We're gonna release it though, because I release a lot of the fish that I catch just from more XP. So we'll get him off the boat. And I'll show you guys what I was talking about with the blue marlin. So it says with the blue marlin to use these type of baits, but they don't actually have enough attraction. The ones that you have, if you want to catch a blue marlin, you have to use these. So you have to use like fly baits. So popper fly, acro popper fly, surface bobber. You have to use these two. But I'm thinking about buying the acro fizzler just to see if I can actually get something. Um, that was a really bad cast, by the way. We'll see if there's a shark though. I don't reckon they'll be. This is just under my boat, so I don't reckon they'll be much here. A couple of mackerel. They hold up a pretty good fight. But for now, we're going to be going to the uh, to New Zealand. I pressed the wrong button. Main menu. I'm off this new place, um, Tarpo Corner. Which is New Zealand's biggest, largest lake. So um, we're fishing here for a bit, and then I'll probably um, end off the ep end off the episode. I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing things. So if you guys like the series, then it's not going anywhere. But we're going to use some Holman fatty bait. <laughs> some of the names are really stupid, but anyway, Holman fatty bait. We're using it. A good cast of 72 feet. Um, there's normally a bit of tench around here. I only unlocked this yesterday, so I only caught one tench, and then um, my iPad died. But yeah, 
So basically, I think I'm just going to reel it into around about the 45 foot mark, what is that? Okay, so I'm going to reel it into about the 45 foot mark, um, just let it swim up a bit. Cause it's kind of in those weeds and the tent likes to swim around about on the top. So I don't want to swim this one too far down guys. You kind of want to keep it in the middle of 7 and 5 feet. So at the moment I'm way too far down. And there's a yellow eyed mullet. Oh here comes a tench. Okay so we've got a tench. We'll just reel this one in. And Keith what do you have to say about this? Yes the tench is a very good fish to, uh, to reel in. It holds up a pretty good fight but it's very common around here in the New Zealand lakes. Um, that's all I have to say. So, yeah, guys, now we'll be reeling in the tench, and it's actually taking my line tension up a bit. And we don't want to let that snap, so it's now 30 feet away from the boat, and it's going to the right. And now going more to the right. That's actually a pretty cool fit. Don't let that arm break. Okay, so we've got low battery, but we're fine, gents. Anyway, so we'll get this and then I'll probably end off the app. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, if you want to see me do more fishing kings, then just drop a like on this video and put a comment. Um, um, I want to see more fishing kings or something. Um, I'll probably be doing it anyway. Um, but yeah. So, that is 13 pounds, so definitely not as big as 450. But, um, we're going to release that. Because that's what I normally do. But yeah. So if you guys want to see more Fishing Kings. Then just let me know in the comments. Or um. Yeah. And that will have to end off the episode for now guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And um. Yeah. Goodbye. Although I'm not really done yet. But anyway. Goodbye guys. Goodbye.